everybody, and welcome back to another episode of RTC Recap. Today's episode is titled RTC Recap Episode 45. I'm your host, BitBat. Alex will be taking over this YouTube channel for one episode after this episode is published and released on YouTube. I'm going away for Canada Day in Northern Ontario and will be away for approximately 3 to 4 days. We've got a lot to cover for today's episode. Topics covered include Peggy Chapter 9, which will be our main focus, two drama segments, the media event in Louis and Legacy, and many more. Before we get started, remember to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos. Now, let's move on to our first news segment. Yesterday night, Chapter 9 of Piggy Book 2 released to the public. Like most Piggy chapters, the chapter has received widespread critical acclaim. For this Piggy chapter, we are on a ship port and we have to escape a black and white monster that has earned the nickname of Vent Monster. Depending on how you complete the episode, you can receive two endings, the survivor ending or the savior ending. Like most endings, they will influence on how you complete the later chapters. A new character named Kona has been introduced in Chapter 9, and in addition, there are new traps for you to help stop the vent monster. This chapter also includes notes that explain a diary of an unnamed trap character and Substance 128. They read, This room is peculiar. What purpose does and did it serve? On with the quest. We're caved in. Trapped. It sounds as though the outside world went silent and has moved past us. I'm tired of being bored and neglected. I'm sick of it. If they don't think I'm useful enough for them, I'll be more useful against them. Dash T. We have to find one of the first subjects to Substance 128 in order to come up with some sort of a cure. Where in the world are we going to find any of them? There is a gravestone that reads, Here lies Queen Viola. May she continue her conquest in the afterlife. Another gravestone reads, Here lies King Milo. May he rule over the realm of the dead for eternity. The final note reads, Dark creatures. Dark creatures everywhere. Someone get me out of here. I'm just a farmer who wanted an adventure. We won't spoil the rest. We at Team RJC encourage you to play Peggy Chapter 9 in order to find the scrap pages, which will be released next week and find even more secrets. What are your thoughts on Piggy Chapter 9? Let us know in the comments below. Now on to our next new segment. For Lumi and Legacy, the Meteor Event is now live. Llama Train Studios tweet reads, The Meteor Event is now live. The new Lumian can be found anywhere in the wild on the routes the Meteor Showers are happening. There are also two special shops to buy limited time items. The special event bundle is also available in the Lumi Boost token shop in the menu. From the looks of screenshots down below, it looks like you need to feed the new Lumian some meteorites as they are hungry. The new Cosmior, as implied in its name, looks like a meteor or a comet. In order to catch one, you need to have an adverse weather encounter, which is very rare. There are three forms, in case, crack, and unleash, with the unleashed one being the strongest. This photo below shows what Cosmior looks like. Apologies if I pronounced the name of the Lumian wrong, I don't play much Lumian Legacy. What are your thoughts on the new Lumian Legacy Meteor event? Let us know in the comments below. Now on to our third new segment. Drama is recently circulated about a game being discovered on the core platform that is very similar, some even considering a clone of the original game Beast Swarm Simulator. For those who are not in the loop, Core is a metaverse style platform that is a mix between Fortnite and Roblox. Powered by the Unreal Engine, players can sign up and create games. Cited as community powered, the game has recently been sponsoring Roblox YouTubers that have a lot of subscribers on the YouTube platform. Since Core was founded not too long ago, it does not have many players. The top game is Honey Magnate, the Bee Swarm Simulator clone that is in question. RTC users have been making comparisons between the two games, with some even saying it's the exact same game. Some were arguing in the comments that the Beast Worm Simulator concept is free to use, while others disagree and say that it is theft of on its property and that it is outright stealing. Join the discussion on our Twitter page. You'll find a lot of like-minded users like you. What are your thoughts about Core? Let us know in the comments below. Now on to our next drama segment. Alright everyone, now on to our next news segment. 
We have another drama news segment, this time circulating about the user-generated content program, also known as UGC. A hair published known as Maria has been discovered to have been stretched and stolen from a Sims community mod. This item was published to the catalog on the 21st of January 2021 and actually did go unnoticed until a Twitter user pointed it out. Some UGC accounts are suspected to have been managed by a group, as there have been rumors circulating around that this was a Chinese exclusive contest where modelers would submit their work and as a result there were multiple winners, with the prize being accepted into UGC. You actually may know some of them, but we won't mention their names here. RTC users are upset, especially with many of their favorite creators being declined and getting failed to get into the program. One user said, Why do people who steal models in this user, meanwhile our favorite creators get declined? What are your thoughts about UGC quality control? Let us know in the comments down below. Now, on to our final news segment. Now, on to our final news segment. Our final news segment involves a brand new game called Platform Madness, which is out now. Similar to Tower of Hell, in this game you go on a moving platform as obstacles come your way. These obstacles include tornadoes, spikes, and so much more that you have to avoid. The game is now out after months of development, and the game is actually has really positive rating to it. And that's going to be it for RTC Recap Episode 45. I'm your host. With that, and this is Tanuki Alex. Hi. We thank you for watching, and we hope you have a nice day. Peace.